Ricardo Rodriguez. Oh, it goes all the way! 64 minutes and four seconds on the clock, and it's in. Scored by Ricardo Rodriguez. What is going on, everybody, and welcome to the first of hopefully many Bundesliga Team of the Season player reviews. Today, we're going to be looking at the Swiss Wolfsburg left back Ricardo Rodriguez. Before we get into it, though, if you do enjoy the video, be sure to throw a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're not already. Um, the main question I was asking myself for this player review is, is Ricardo Rodriguez better than David Alaba? Because David Alaba, as we all know, is the standout Bundesliga left back. And the only reason you'd want to buy this one, apart from the fact that he's blue and that's cool, obviously, is if he was any better than David Alaba. So I'll answer that question later on in the video. But first and foremost, let's take a look at, look at his base card stats. He's got 84 pace, which is good. 70 shooting, which is oh, for a left back, that's really good as well, obviously. 85 passing, 86 dribbling, 89 defending, which is outstanding and 85 physical. You can see, I paid 98,500 coins for him. He's actually going for a little bit more than that at the moment. I've actually got him on the old uh, 50 not minute bid thing. I paid five games with him, three goals and two assists, which is really good from a left back. Five foot 11, high medium work rates, three star weak foot, three star skill moves. And he's an absolute beast, I'll say that straight off the bat. We'll take a look at some of his in-game stats. Now I've got my little stat pad here so I can read some of the some ones that I'm highlighting. Uh, he's got uh, 88 aggression, 90 interceptions, which is, you can really feel that in the game as well. He reads the game so well. And 91 reactions, 98 crossing, which again feels incredible in the game. 90 curve, 99 shot power, which you'll see two incredible examples of that in a minute on the, uh, on the game clips. Uh, he's got 92 free kick accuracy, 87 marking, 91 stand and slow tackle. And he's also got the crosser and early crosser traits and specialities now. This card, like I say, it's an absolute beast. I was really, really struggling to find any negatives with it whatsoever. But I did manage to pick one out. It's a very picky one, and that is going to be his jumping. Now, 5 foot 11 is a really good height for a left back. You'll start to see some clips going down the background. Uh, 5 foot 11 is a really good height for a, a left back, but he doesn't seem to get up very well. I don't know what it is about him. He, I, I didn't concede any headers directly because of this, but from flick ons, from goal kicks, all that kind of stuff, he wasn't ever really winning many of them. And um, I suppose if someone's got a tall striker and he's marking at the back stick, that could become an issue. But like I say, it is a negative. It's not a big one. I was quite picky because I was looking for something to be wrong with him at two ends because he was so good. But if you pull that to one side, the positives, he reads the game incredibly well. He just steps in like better than any other left back I've ever used. His tackling is out of this world. It's absolutely exceptional. He's crossing when he gets down the other end. Again, he's absolutely insane. I don't know how he only got two assists because he put so many crosses in there and I won so many into the headers, but they just weren't going in for me for some bizarre reason. His passing is solid. His strength is also really, really good. His long shots are okay as well because of his shot pair. You'll see a couple of examples of that. I scored one absolutely blinding long shot and then I had one from like just past the half line on that you'll see that was so close to going in and it would have been one of the greatest goals I've ever scored on FIFA I think. The only other thing that you look at his card and think could be a potential for holdback is his pace and I say that 84 is still a good amount of pace for a left back especially when he's got 18 undefended and 84 physical as well. But um, a lot of people like you know like your cliches, your Kyle Walkers within 90 pace ish around that kind of area. But um, it just didn't feel like an issue at all to me because of his great defending all that kind of stuff. It didn't at all feel like an issue, which is why I haven't put it as a negative. And overall, I am actually going to be giving Ricardo Rodriguez a 9.5 out of 10. Up there with Cthulhu, so he's now the joint highest, right, the highest best player that I've been getting a bit tongue twisted there. Um, he's just outstanding. He's probably the best left back I've ever used on FIFA. Definitely this year, going back to the years, I can't think of anyone better. Like I say, his pace doesn't feel like an issue, not that he's slow anyway. His defending is incredible. He gets the footing so, so, so well. He reads the game incredibly well. When he gets down the line, he gets the great crossing. And he's, when he marauds forward as well, he's so difficult to stop. He's pretty strong as well, like I mentioned. But the big question, is he better than David Alaba? I sort of just gave that away when I said he's one of the best left backs I've ever used. 100% yes, he's definitely better than David Alaba. Is he worth the 100k that he's going for at the moment? If you've got a Bundesliga team, or randomly maybe even a Swiss team, I don't know, 100% yes, because he's set pieces as well. I didn't unfortunately get any free kicks to take with him, which was a bit of a pain in the ass. I really wanted to test them out, but his free, ca free kick stats look absolutely sensational, so I can't see them being bad. And um, yeah, for 100k, he's 100% worth it, because he's just an absolute tank going there, that left-hand side, an absolute tank. I, can't, I just can't stress how much of a beast this bloke is, but... 
that is going to bring us to the end of the review now everybody i hope you did enjoy it if you did like i said at the start it'd be incredible if you throw a thumbs up on the video and also uh, subscribe if you're new around here and hopefully i will be speaking to you tomorrow with perhaps another player review maybe a squad builder we'll have to wait and see what happens but nevertheless i'll speak to you then anyway ninja out what is going on everybody and welcome to yet another team of the week slash team of the season review and I'm recording this one just after the team of the week has been announced so the team of the season is coming out in Ricardo Rodriguez Oh it goes all the way 64 minutes and 4 seconds on the clock and it's in Scored by Ricardo Rodriguez with a direct delivery from a set piece, a free kick foil.